In the pre-dawn hours at Arkansas Children's Hospital, five-year-old Gong Lu of China arrives for an operation that will change her life. She was born with a large vascular tumor on her nose. Although the growth is not a medical threat to Gong Lu, directors at the orphanage want to meet her medical needs before putting her up for adoption. With or without this tumor, it's easy to see how many families would love her. She's aware of it. Um, she has indicated that she would like it changed, um, that she would like to have a more normal, regular appearance but I don't think it's been a hindrance of her. Surgery for this child was not a feasible option since so few doctors worldwide can treat this condition. After almost three years of searching for the right services, the orphanage group learned of Dr. Lisa Buckmiller. Gong Lu was brought to Arkansas Children's Hospital because it houses one of the largest programs for vascular anomalies in the United States. How are you, sweetheart? So this first one is going to be to remove the bulk of this mass that I'm hoping we'll get about 85% of it out. 10% of children are born with some type of vascular tumor, most of which are considered hemangiomas, growths made up of tissue and numerous blood vessels that have grown out of control. They can range from very small to life-threatening. While some hemangiomas disappear after time, this particular one must be surgically removed because of its size. Over the next four hours, Dr. Buckmiller will remove the tumor and reconstruct a new nose out of any cartilage that can be saved. The cartilage that makes up the framework of the nose was very stretched out, abnormally placed, and very difficult to find, very fragile. It had been deformed by the tumor that had been there since birth. After precise and delicate work, Gong Lu has a new nose. The final result with Gong Lu's case was wonderful. It was more than I had expected. I was able to remove uh, probably 95% of the tumor and um, decrease the size of her nostrils, which is something that I generally can't do all in one stage, and I think she did very well. Clinic visits after her surgery show Gong Lu is healing nicely, although there is still a lot of swelling that will take time to heal. She will remain in the U.S. for approximately five weeks until she is at a point in her recovery to return home. Any future procedures can be performed by Dr. Buckmiller during future mission trips to China. Thank you, Lisa. Very nice! That's my girl.